Amber, and uh, I'm actually originally from Fargo, North Dakota, and uh, that wasn't the funny things. <laughs> um, my, my parents still live there, and uh, I grew up in a Republican house, but I didn't know it because my father is like undercover right wing. Like he used to be really hip, you know. Like he got back in Vietnam, and he followed the Grateful Dead. You know, he was all about peace and love. Now, in his older age, he has gone so far to the right that he wants to build a wall around North Dakota to keep people out. <laughs> Newsflash, no one's trying to get in. <laughs> no one's crossing that border for your job, Dad. <laughs> Doesn't hunting is safe. <laughs> I generally uh, don't like to discuss politics because uh, discussing politics uh, with some people is a lot like discussing music with other people. Like the conversation always ends in an argument. Mm -hmm. Like you're never going to change anyone's mind about Led Zeppelin or Hillary Clinton. It's just not going to happen. You know, because people people hold on to their opinions so strongly. You know, they're just not willing to give it up. You know, like and these crazy issues that they hold on to that don't really affect them personally. You know, like. Sammy Hagar or gay marriage, you know, doesn't really affect them. Like, yeah, you might not agree with it, but it needs to be an option for other people, right? The choice, that's an issue that gets people fired up. Oh my gosh. I'll, I'll, I'll admit it, I, I believe in choice, and as unpleasant as it is to admit when I was younger, I purchased a Spin Doctors album. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was my body and my choice, and if I want to dance, to sort of rock and rollish type music, <laughs> I should be able to do so, you know. And yeah, you guys, there isn't a day that doesn't go by that I don't wonder, you know, what my life would have been like without pocket full of kryptonite. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes a little Miss Little Miss can't be wrong. She's right. <laughs> I don't smoke pot. Um, actually, you know what? I don't buy pot. So let me just um, clarify that. <laughs> and I don't think I do not think marijuana should be legalized because then I might have to start paying for it, and uh, it's not in my budget. <laughs> actually, I don't smoke a whole lot of pot because, frankly, I do not have the contractions. Uh, I do not have the coordination. Well, sometimes, sometimes there's like a, a tube and there is water involved. Uh, sometimes there's like a, a little hole and you have to like cover up the hole at the same time as you're like, I don't like the music. It's just, uh. <laughs> sometimes there are little papers and you have to do it yourself. <laughs> what? I want a buzz, not a craft project, right? <laughs> not Martha Stoner Stewart up here. <laughs> I'm not worried about meth. That's very popular. A lot of people are addicted to the meth. I am never, ever going to be addicted to meth because I do not clean my house. <laughs> I'm never going to whip up anything from underneath my kitchen sink. <laughs> That's where the Girl Scout cookies go. <laughs> I'm not very religious. Uh, although, you know what? I do, I do talk to God quite a bit. I'm always trying to cut a deal. I'm like, Jesus, come on. Like, help me out. I know what I did was wrong. Please, please let me make it to a bathroom. Please. <laughs> I promise I will never ever eat at another Chinese buffet again. <laughs> and I think those religious groups are onto something because Jesus has always come through for me. Really, he has. And I think I think I might have to start uh, making good on my end. You know, I'm gonna start going to church. I just think that's a small price to pay for not soiling yourself in traffic. <laughs> Plus, I was raised Catholic, and Mass is such good cardio. It really is. Like, um, a lot of kneeling in for the glutes. I get to work on my biceps and my triceps. Feeling the burn of the body of Christ. Sculpting my sweet butt. Plus, you guys, the body of Christ is such a lean protein. It really is. So we all know the Republicans are coming. Some of them might even be here. Ooh. I think if we hunker down here, we'll be all right. Hunker down at the comedy club, they'll hear the laughter and go, Arg, what is it? Are we going to be taxed on it? Let's get out of here. <laughs> no part of that. Plus, I don't have a passport, so I can't get to St. Paul anyway. So. <laughs> 
We all sat. <laughs> It's very exciting, at least here in Minnesota. We have a uh, very exciting Senate race. Oh my goodness, Franken and Coleman. Jesse was almost in it for a second. Oh man, are we casting for the gong show or electing a senator? <laughs> <laughs> voting is important, though. I feel like uh, voting in America is like exercise in America. More people should do it. <laughs> and the people that are really, really into it, I don't want to hang out with them anyway. <laughs> It's all this political hoopla that just makes me realize how irritating our nation really can be. <laughs> like, I think America is like a super annoying gal pal, <laughs> but I have to stay friends with her because we grew up together. <laughs> she's always coming to me for relationship advice, which is fine, because I can't stand the guy she's with right now. Oh, he just gets drunk and starts fights for no reason, you know? I'm like, America, I know this really nice lady. Are you sure you're not a lesbian? <laughs> she's like, no, you know I only date rich old white dudes. <laughs> You know what would really piss your ex-boyfriend off? I know this black guy. <laughs> I do know that I am. Uh, I'm going to vote. I do know that I cannot vote for McCain simply because he was a prisoner of war for five and a half years. Five and a half years. I was delayed at LAX for two hours and I killed three people. <laughs> he doesn't get to answer the red phone. I've seen the deer hunter. I know what happens. <laughs> anyway, that's my time. Thanks for watching.